Today we will be making red bean pancakes. These are Japanese style pancakes and it will require precision when it comes to weighing your ingredients, mixing them all together, and making them in the pan. Well, if I mush one, yeah, that's done. Ooh. Time to make some paste. Here we go. Just a little bit. We're gonna combine eggs, sugar, honey, and we're gonna whisk it. Forty-four. Uh, that's all right. And then we're gonna sift all-purpose flour and one teaspoon baking powder and combine it with that egg mixture, and we have our pancake batter. Why did I do that? gets worse. Well, that saved me from a ton of work, but also caused me a lot of mess. That's okay. We'll cover it up, let it rest inside the fridge for 15 minutes. While that rests, I'm going to start heating up my pan. We're gonna preheat it for 10 minutes on the low setting because we don't want any hot spots throughout the pan and we want even heat throughout the whole surface. So after all that prepping, now comes the fun part of making the pancakes. We're gonna dip a paper towel in neutral oil I'm gonna coat the bottom of the pan, and then we use another paper towel to remove all that oil completely. One fourth cup at a time. So we're gonna to go to medium low. And now we wait for it to cook. It's a little dark. I mean, it could be worse, but we have these. Look at that. We have our pancakes. <laughs> it's not 
It's not that bad, but it could be prettier. But it tastes good. Let's make our sandwich, shall we? This is so good, but it's so much sugar. I mean, overall it doesn't look too bad. I had fun making this, but the toughest part was definitely making the pancakes. And flipping was my toughest challenge. I did not find any success flipping these pancakes without it making a mess. From this angle, it looks like cheeseburgers. <laughs> no. Overall, this was fun. I would definitely make this again, maybe when people are over. But when I make this another time, I'm gonna use less sugar and less honey for sure. Because the red bean, the sweet red bean paste is already sweet enough. So I feel like the pancake doesn't have to be too sweet. Maybe significantly less on the sugar and just a little bit less on the honey because the honey is what makes this stand out. Red bean pancake, sweet red bean pancake. But that is it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing the space with me here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite kind of pancakes are or what you thought about this video. See y'all in the next one. In honor of AAPI Month this May, we are cooking all Asian or Asian-inspired dishes throughout the month. So come join us. <laughs>